What are kidney stones? As you're watching TV and enjoying your second cup of tea for the day, you suddenly feel an extremely sharp stabbing pain in the right side of your lower back. The pain comes and goes, but eventually becomes so bad that you're unable to sit, lie down, or even walk without screaming in agony. Hours later, you find yourself in the emergency room where your doctor shockingly informs you that you have a 7 millimeter kidney stone stuck in your urinary tract. Hello, and welcome to MedTouch, the best place to find the right medical information. Like most people, you've probably heard of kidney stones before, but other than the fact they sound really, really painful, you might not know exactly what they are. Kidney stones are hard mineral deposits that form inside your kidneys when there's too many crystal-forming substances, such as calcium, and not enough fluid in your urine. Without enough fluid, these substances increase in concentration and begin to crystallize. These crystals then attract other elements where they join together to form a solid deposit known as a kidney stone. Types of kidney stones. There are four major types of kidney stones. The most common are calcium oxalate stones. These stones are created when calcium combines with oxalate in the urine. Oxalate is a substance that's made by your liver and absorbed through certain foods such as fruits, vegetables and nuts. Not drinking enough fluids and having too much oxalate in your body, as well as other metabolic conditions, can cause these stones to form. The second most common type of kidney stone is uric acid stones. Uric acid stones form when there's too much uric acid in the urine. This can be caused by conditions such as diabetes or obesity. The third type is struvite stones. Struvite stones contain high amounts of magnesium, ammonia and calcium carbonate, these stones are typically less common and are mainly caused by bacterial infections in the upper urinary tract. Lastly, we have cysteine stones. Cysteine stones are caused by a disorder known as cystinuria, which is a rare hereditary condition that causes cystin, a type of amino acid, to leak into urine. Kidney stones can vary greatly in size. Some are as small as a grain of sand, some are the size of a pebble, and some are as large as a ping pong ball. Stones that are less than 4 mm wide have an 80% chance of passing through your urinary tract naturally. When this happens, it's called passing a kidney stone, and it is painful. Stones that are larger than 4 mm have a greater chance of getting lodged into the tubes connecting your kidneys to your bladder. When this happens, the stone can block the flow of urine and cause the kidney to swell and the ureter to spasm. This is very painful and can cause symptoms such as severe sharp pain on either side of the lower back, persistent aches and pains in the stomach or groin region, a painful or burning sensation while urinating, a persistent need to urinate or frequently urinating in small amounts, nausea or vomiting, fever and chills, and pink, bloody or cloudy urine with a strong, unpleasant odour. Treatments Treatment for kidney stones depends on their size, what they're made of, and whether they're blocking your urinary tract or not. To find out the answer, your doctor will perform a series of tests such as a urine analysis, blood test, CT scan, or ultrasound. Smaller kidney stones usually pass on their own within a matter of weeks. To help the stone pass, your doctor will recommend that you drink plenty of water and take pain medication if needed. Your doctor can also prescribe medications to help to relax the muscles in your ureter, which can assist with passing the kidney stone more effectively with less pain. If a stone is large enough to block the flow of urine and cause significant pain, bleeding or an infection, your doctor will need to intervene by breaking the stone down into smaller pieces so they can be passed on their own. This can be achieved through non-invasive procedures such as shockwave lithotripsy, endoscopic removal, or in rarer cases, traditional open surgery. Prevention. Without proper treatment, kidney stones can continue to grow until they become extremely large. The larger a stone is, the more damage it can cause. In severe cases, this can result in complications such as permanent kidney damage, kidney failure, as well as kidney infections that can result in a medical emergency known as septic shock. If you suspect you may be suffering from kidney stones, visit your doctor as soon as possible.
To learn more helpful information about kidney stones, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next video, 5 Tips to Prevent Kidney Stones. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, leave us a comment and turn on that notification bell so we can stay in touch.